You need to make sure your crew is balanced. Ask questions. Who do they vote for? Who are they connected to? Is there anything that's going to make them biased when they're working with you that's going to affect the output that you're making? I made a film about um, children working in the tobacco industry in Malawi and we had a really excellent fixer who's probably one of the best journalists I've ever worked with, let alone fixers overseas. He was a very brilliant man. But he was someone who had worked for this anti-tobacco um, lobbying organisation. And we had asked him in advance if he had any specific views on this and he, he told us. So we knew where he was coming from. Um, and in the end, we just made sure that whenever he suggested interviewees, that we sort of double-checked they were the right sort of people, that we had the right sense of balance. And also when it comes to translation and things like that, you have to make sure that whoever's doing the translating isn't telling you what they wish the interviewee was saying rather than what they're actually saying. But all the time you have to remember you're, you want to be in a situation where you're getting good interviews, good information, and you're also not uh, drawing undue attention to yourself, making sure that you can defend yourself against any criticisms of bias in the future that shouldn't be there. So make sure you have a balanced team.